Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video. Today we'll be talking about the old souls. So, as many people are going through the moment of awakening right now, as I'm seeing in the comments, many people are getting closer to understanding that we are more than just a physical form. But the interesting thing is that many people go are going through that awakening completely differently. So some may experience like they've been here before. I'm receiving so interesting stories sometimes and I would love to share this video with you because it can help many people to understand what is actually going on. So in many different ancient indigenous traditions, People believe that there is a thing called reincarnation. You go through the cycle of life to gain certain experiences. And then you return as a soul back to the creator, to the source. And the source will ask you how you did. You will reflect your life. And then if you want to change something or if you've created certain karma, you will come back and you will try to improve yourself. I hope not try, but actually do it. So that's the story of reincarnation. But then there are wiser souls, older souls. And the, the soul is not actually measured in ages, but in experiences and wisdom. So the older souls are coming back to experience the physical life not because they have failed or at something or because they've made a certain karmic cycle that they need to fix but because they are carrying such an important and practical wisdom that they've came back to earth to teach others to awaken or to how to practically use the wisdom of life so they can end their karmic cycle and they can go with the process of awakening and they can transform their lives to a greater state of harmony, greater state of bliss, greater state of health and abundance. So that's the purpose of the older souls. But the thing is that Every time, according to ancient texts, every time, and we, we all can feel it, every time we are born, we forgot that what's the reason we came here. And because many people are going right now through that process of awakening, many people are, are remembering once again why they've came here. And that's the intuitive feeling that we feel, we sense it. But sometimes we don't have the words to explain what we feel. So many people are ignoring that feeling. But because that feeling is not um, shutting off, you know, that feeling is constantly reminding us, hey, pay attention to me. Videos like that can help us to understand what is really happening. So, the old souls will feel what we'll be talking today about. The first thing is that many old souls like to keep their surroundings simple. You know, we have all possible advertisement. We need this, we need that new thing, we need those new clothes, we need that uh, latest phone and that latest computer and, you know, all possible things. And many people like to complicate their lives because they've been programmed to, to do that. Like, we need all, all those things. But old souls already know that it's just another way to distract ourselves. So they like to keep their surroundings simple so they can rather focus on themselves and on raising their energy so they can help others to wake up. If you feel like you would like to keep your surroundings simple 
and you rather go outside into the nature and you enjoy with the animals and you take care of your mental state, you take care of your emotional state. You like to meditate, you like to sing and you like to dance and you like to spend a lot of time being creative and you know you like to look on life through the eyes of simplicity it means that you're waking up as an old soul and eventually if not already you will come across understanding that there's a truly intense calling within you which is reminding you what you're about to do or what you need to do or what you've chosen to do so pay close attention to that my friends if you feel like you truly love to keep your surrounding simple you love to put some plans around you plans <laughs> around you maybe some artworks but basically to keep everything simple it's because you already know that less distraction around us will help us to be more focused on what is truly important. Then maybe sometimes you can find yourself drifting around from people, from places, and sometimes you lose the sense of time. You get yourself into a complete present moment and for a moment it feels like you're not in space and time, you're like beyond that. And you feel like there's something different happening to you. A part of your soul is awakening to, to remember once again who you truly are. And that process of awakening sometimes um, can awaken such an intense energy within our bodies that, that our attention will drift away from our perception, from the way how we are perceiving lives. And it will feel like we are drifting away. We are losing the sense of space and time. Usually at those times we are downloading the, the memories of the soul to to remember again why we are here at this unique time. So if it is happening to you, go and meditate. Go and spend some time alone. Do not be afraid of that. Also journaling will help you to, to, to become more clear of what is, like, what is happening in your mind. What are you going through? write down and maybe connect with people which you feel they can understand what is happening to you find the communities which are talking about it do not talk about it with somebody who will not understand it because they will say that you are crazy or something find people which can understand this process there's actually many people you would not believe how many people are actually waking up to this. But not many people are talking about it because they are afraid of being judged. Like they are out there, there's something wrong with them. But it's important to know that there are other dimensions. There's more to life than meets the eye. And when we open our minds to understand that, it's much easier to to comprehend what is happening so if it feels to you that sometimes here and there you're drifting away it's because you're waking up remembering once again what is your mission what are your gifts and talents and wisdom that you are bringing back to earth because we see we can see, we all see right now, that humanity need something greater than what we've been told in the past, right? 
we need to change many things because the old way of living was just not helpful so that's why all that those changes are happening right now and we need what we knew before we've been born so bring it on <laughs> there's another thing that old souls can feel and that's the urge to to create a bridge between older and younger generations this is so important so for example me as a child i was always um, I still love to hang with older people and to learn from them. I'm always just listening. When I'm talking with older people, I'm always just listening. Because I know they, they know already more things than I know. So I love to learn from them. And then when I go to younger people, I like to talk what I've learned from older people. So often I feel like I'm just a bridge to bring the wisdom from our ancestors to the younger generations so they can learn from that ancient wisdom. Our ancestors have been learning from their ancestors and their ancestors have been learning from their ancestors. That's how we are bridging the knowledge and wisdom. So if you feel like you are that bridge to bring to the younger generations the ancient wisdom, most probably you are an old soul and you're finding out your mission here. There's a huge power in ancient wisdom because somehow they knew how life works. If we go into the ancient science of magic, the ancient science of magic was studying the laws of nature. So they've been able to spell casts, to make plants grow. They've been able to communicate with nature. They've been able to heal people with spells. They've been able to protect themselves from any negative forces. They were using the laws of nature to cooperate with them, to work together with nature. Therefore, they were not destroying nature. They were working with nature. And that's what we've forgot a little bit about, right? So we need to make that bridge again between the ancient wisdom and the younger generations so we can get back to what we forgot and what can help us to connect us back with the nature and to make that great harmony again so if you feel an urge to do that most probably you have that ancient wisdom which is urging you to do that then old souls love to prepare love to plan, love to make visions and certain goals for the future because they understand that the future is happening in the present moment. Only those who are able to see the future will always be prepared for what is happening. And that preparation is not coming out of fear as most of us have been programmed to prepare for the future. If you are following the media and the news, they are always spreading something to prepare for the future out of fear, maybe even out of anger. But our ancient ancestors have been preparing for the future by planting seeds to make the food, right? So in the present moment, we are planting the seeds and that's how we are preparing for the future. So, an ancient soul filled with wisdom always knew what to plant so the future will be filled with abundance. Filled with abundance. If you like to take care of the seeds in the present moment, seeds are even the thoughts, remember that. 
every thought you think is a seed. If you're nurturing well enough, it will grow into a beautiful plant. <laughs> into a beautiful fruit. So if you like to plan and prepare for the future out of love, out of that greater vision, what else is possible to bring to the world, to improve lives of many, most probably you feel that, that ancient inspiration to make things better. So old souls will feel that and you can resonate with that. And with this kind of information, I don't want to make a difference between like, some people sometimes say, you're dividing people, like old souls, young souls. Isn't it true that we are all the same? And yeah, it's true. Like we are all coming from the source. But as I said before, every individual can experience awakening differently. So when we go through that phase of awakening, sometimes it's great to, to be reminded of what is actually happening. It's not good or bad that you're an old soul or young soul. Everything is great. If you're practicing self-awareness and if you're not letting to be distracted by the outside noise, you rather stay aware and you focus on what is important and you nurture the seeds that which you want them to grow, it's all gonna be okay. doesn't matter if you're a young soul, old soul, an ancient wisdom bringer, doesn't matter. Always take care of what are you doing in the present moment. And the label is truly not important. The label doesn't matter. So, another thing that the old souls will resonate is that you feel truly powerful urge or attraction towards knowledge. So often we feel attracted towards knowledge because through books, through researches, we are remembering who we are and what we actually feel. As I said before at the beginning, sometimes we feel something, but because we don't have the vocabulary to explain what we feel, we rather ignore it because we think it's not important. But many times we feel attracted to towards certain knowledge because in that different information, we will find the explanation of what we feel. And suddenly we will remember why we feel that. And suddenly we will feel an urge to express what we feel. And because now we have the words, we are able to express it. We are able to talk about it. We are able to teach it. Or however we experience it. So if you feel those kind of things that we've been talking today about, there's a great chance that you are an old soul. And as I said before, it's not a good or a bad thing. It's just much easier if we understand what is happening. So, my friends, this is it for today. I'm sending you all love, blessings and lots of power. Have a beautiful day and I hope you've enjoyed today's painting. If you would like to find more about my art, you can find it on my Instagram page, I Draw My Passion. Stay tuned for the next giveaway coming soon. Everything I'm posting about it on my Instagram page. And I want to express my gratitude for everyone who is buying my art on my Etsy shop. I Draw My Passion prints of my paintings, you are all truly appreciated. 
till next time i'm sending you all love blessings and lots of power have a beautiful day one love